delicious. Deliciously lethal. <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. The boy's corpse stayed there for hours, enveloped by blades of grass, until all of a sudden, something happened. A new spark was instilled in Skinny's body, reduced abruptly to a skeleton, and slammed him inside Ronald's wardrobe, cursed to watch over his friend for the rest of his days. Or at least until today, when our story starts. Morning, sunshine. Hi, Nat. Forgive me, but I didn't sleep very well tonight. Are you sure you really want to talk to him? I have no other choice. He'll have a heart attack if you ask me, and he'll end up keeping you company in the wardrobe. I really hope not. Do you know where Ronald's gone? Everybody left a couple of hours ago, but I don't know where they went. They were all very nervous. I don't know why exactly. It'll be the usual sale at the mall. The Mother Superior must have straightened them up as usual. When will you stop eating those things? Would you care for some, maybe? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm allergic to plums? Just looking at them, I'm getting hives. Man, you don't have any skin at all. And anyway, they're nuts. Otherwise, why would Ronald have given me this name? He probably just wanted to be... alternative. You're a lost cause. Hasn't Ronald spoken yet? You should know that by now. He hasn't said a word since you died in front of his eyes. I don't want his soul to be damned forever. If that stubborn guy won't open his lips for himself, I'll take steps to loosen his tongue. Don't hurt him too much. I have to run to the bathroom. All this excitement loosened my bladder. I like this room. Start here, then. Put the little pet in the van. In the meantime, I'll prepare the boxes in the living room. And don't do it like last time when you got hit by a car while loading the stuff. There are colored books on the walls! But you don't even know which side a book opens on. I like colored books. Do you know what I don't like? Working for free to pay for broken things marked fragile. Do you understand? This carpet! It's soft as a marshmallow. I like marshmallows. <laughs> I should have listened to my dad when he told me to be a florist. Ah, I really needed a shower. Boss, it won't open. Let's keep working on the ground floor then. In the meantime, I'll ask the lady about a key. I'm afraid this damn move will take longer than expected. Move? And what should I do now? I'm coming, I'm coming. Apologies for the delay. I was late with a tutorial of another video game. Players are not what they used to be anymore. Let's, uh, cut to the chase. I'm here to explain the game controls to you. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you, Skinny. Let your player decide. Perfect. Let's start with the basic commands. The mouse left click is used to move around your surroundings. Holding the right click and then releasing it on one of the available actions, you'll interact with the elements of the scene. Try with the chainsaw. Don't ask any questions, believe me. Skinny, try to be a little more accommodating. This is a tutorial. Now try to open the green satchel. There is something inside the satchel. Try to pick it up. Ma, there's gold in this here bag. Ah, no. It's just pyrite. Don't be fooled by appearances. It could be more useful than you can imagine. For some hotspots, there's only one action available, so a left click with your mouse will be enough. Try to check out the bin.
Was this really necessary? The player asked for our help. It's important to learn the game controls. Now let's take a look at multiple choice dialogues. We already saw them on our own. These constant delays are embarrassing. Well, what else? Holding the central button of the mouse, you'll see all the hotspots with which you can interact. With the mouse wheel, you'll open and close the inventory. That's all. And now if you'll excuse me, I'm in a rush and I've got to go. Is that it? I never saw such a sloppy tutorial. You're right. It's just that I'm busy like you wouldn't believe. See you soon. I must say that he has the softest fur. Nothing soft about you stepping on my back. I sense trouble. That must be the van of the moving company. I absolutely have to find a way to get in there before they finish and leave. One of the countless houses of the Wayne family. Mr. Wayne is not often seen here in the city. He never stops by to talk with anyone. The Murrays are really very nice people. When we were children, Ronald and I often played with Cooper, but after the divorce, he went to live with his mother. That house has been for sale for years, but nobody has ever seen the owners. Nor is it clear if the mysterious Mr. Richards even really exists. I don't know what's more disgusting, this or the hair removal strips of Ronald's mother. You've probably already figured out I'm not exactly an ace. In my defense, you have to admit that it's not easy to throw without real joints. You're embarrassing. That's it. Even at his age, Ronald can't really get enough of squeezing this thing. I can't imagine what the bear would do to Ronald if he still had his spine. I'd give him a nice tattoo on his back for starters. You have to understand the bear is convinced he's married to the duck. What happened to my wardrobe? I can't be separated from my wardrobe. It's a matter of life or death. Well, I mean, you know. One of the movers must have left it here. A disaster I made with some apricot marmalade years ago. I never understood how Ronald's parents could think it was Sigmund Freud's face. I think you need a permit to carry something like that. I know where this is going. With this trick, we lost four relatives and eight of the cat's nine lives. That critter won't get closer to the living room, even under torture. I suggest you avoid careless moves, if you value your skin. I already lost mine a while ago. Ronald's father has never been a green thumb kind of man, but you should see the level of dedication he has for them. Ronald's mother is very satisfied too. She says they give a nice scent to the whole place. Sure. I confess I've always been curious. An ending so unexpected. Ah, uh, um, just another small interruption to tell you that it may sometimes be possible to pick up the same object more than once. Another belated circumstance where you show your negligence, but thanks for the tip. It's a sort of big ball of dust. I still remember the day I didn't notice her, but she saw me. Fortunately, she mistook me for Ronald. She fattened him up for the next three months.
There will be no peace for our quiet time. Have you seen boss? I opened the door. Bravo, well done. But now let's go, it's lunchtime. I like eating. Then come on, move. Uh... Hello. Let's move on and accept it's just part of the scenery. Seems pretty battered. I guess it's the control unit of the neighborhood traffic light system. I find it curious that it's down here. I'd have imagined it on a pole or something like that. Uh, hi. Hi, little bag of bones. Please don't eat me. As skinny as you are, you wouldn't even be useful for chicken stock. Hey, excuse me if I care about my figure. You don't look too good. How are you? I have an unbearable pain in my tooth. Mm, something must be stuck in it. Would you like to take a look at it? Mm, fine. Th that's okay. Oh. There's something in there indeed, but I don't think I can remove it with my bare hands. I'm sure you're a really nice guy at heart, right? Actually, I just escaped from a maximum security prison for reptiles. I was locked up because I slit the throats of my neighbors with a fishbone. They were too loud, and I couldn't sleep. I promise I will never do anything to upset you. I'm just messing with you, stupid bag of bones. You're not funny at all. See you around. <sighs> not exactly the luckiest fishing trip I've ever seen. Please, give me just one second. I just realized this is the first time I've been out of the house since I died. Okay, I think I can manage. Let's go. Lost 38 special during a daring getaway by car. A sizable reward in cash and an annual free pizza at Pizzeria Luigi is being offered. If found, drop in and ask for Don Vito. An offer you can't refuse. I love pizza. Disappeared in the night, an old Neptunian alien. A reward of 5,000 quid is offered for any information that leads us to his safe recovery. Call 00-SOLAR-8-554011. Peace and prosperity. The appeal of construction sites knows no interplanetary limits, it seems. It must be a slot machine gas station. I'm afraid it had a rough day. I think I'm living proof of how awfully wrong this all is. Um, living, so to speak. A huge sleeping guy stands in my way. I don't know why, but I'm having the strangest case of deja vu. Let's get a move on. Don't laze around. 
Even his blindness never gets him down. Dug the pits with our bare hands. Sorry, sir. Can I bother you for a second? Don't you see? I'm really busy right now, boy. Are you blind? Tell me this is a joke. What are you doing exactly? I'm working, unlike all those incompetent slackers. But you are blind. Not at all. I can see perfectly. I don't need anyone's help. Which number am I making with my fingers? Four. Okay, at least now we know we're not dealing with one more fake cripple. You really have strange taste when it comes to clothing. Brown and black are absolutely classic, boy. Timeless. But actually, you... You young people today don't understand a thing. Go back to your hipster flaps and pursue a living in bad taste. Your tenacity is very impressive. So, do you ever stop? We need someone who keeps everybody up. I can't afford to rest. It's hard work, but someone has to do it. And when, for example, you need to go to the toilet? I always carry my traveling catheter for emergencies. I really need to go. Well, uh, see you around, boy. He seems a little anxious to me. That's a banana, not a hammer. Look at them, with those little bloodthirsty killer eyes. And I fought for years in the Union for people like you. Back in my day, the screws were tightened clockwise. State-of-the-art technology, no doubt about it. When we were at war, we 